Hey people, Frank Cement here. I'm working on another video on the tracks. This will be part four. Today I'll be cutting uh, plates. Um, let me show you what I got. That is a handheld bandsaw. I made a bracket to strap it to the table. That's the foot pedal. It's screwed to the table pretty sturdy. This part right here is holding this end, plus I welded a flat piece on there for a gauge. This gauge is for quick measurement of the plate steel when I slide it in. This is the measurement I need to make the center plate. How I measured it was this carpenter square. I took the measurement off the blade. Zoom in. If you notice, the blade's right up against the flat part and the end of the ruler. is at the stop, so. It's not exactly 8 inches, the measurement changed. I already cut one piece. Uh, I made it a little shorter just in case the piece of steel isn't exactly 10 feet. If it was 10 feet, I'd get 15 pieces. I'm kind of worried uh, the last piece will be like an inch too short so I'm kinda compensating for that by making this piece seven and seven eighths. Uh, it's not gonna matter because when I put the plates over the ends it's gonna cover the ends up plus if I cut the ends crooked it's not gonna matter because they'll be covered up and hidden by the end plates also so Cuts pretty straight though. I don't think I'll have any problems of getting the 15 pieces out of each 10 foot strip. Shouldn't take too long either. Takes less than a minute to cut through. It's like an angry billy goat. <laughs> okay, when I come back I should have what I have. I don't have enough flat plate steel to make the centers, but I got most of them. I should have that cut in about an hour. Yeah, it's working out pretty good. Uh, make a quick bit on how this thing's cutting. Uh, keep in mind, if you never mess with power tools, don't be doing this. The 3D rule applies to it. Don't do it, dummy. Uh, it's pretty dangerous. It's an open saw blade and there's no guard. So doing it this way is pretty dangerous unless you know what you're doing and then you still need to take safety precautions like you don't want something falling in your eye next thing you know you're in the ER and one thing that is overlooked uh, make sure your pants is over your shoes so the metal shavings don't fall inside Nothing like a bad rash. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll set the camera down and I'll cut a couple and show you how it is. Whoa. <coughs> yeah, watch out for the bees too.
easy. Uh, I'm using this band saw because uh, I don't have to go out and keep buying cutting discs for the cutoff grinder. Wear and tear on that. This thing cuts it pretty good, pretty quick with less material. So I already had those cut. It took about five minutes, so it's moving pretty, pretty quick. Okay. Got her done. 118 pieces. I need at least uh, 12 more pieces to make 130. It's a big hunk of steel right there. Jeez. Took about an hour. That's what I figured. I'll be doing more than what I need. Uh, 130 is the minimum. I'll be doing 149 because that's how many cleats I made. I want extra track plates. In case something goes wrong, I bend a couple testing out the vehicle. So Next step is the uh, track guides. I got enough to do all of those. So. Okay. Okay, in addition to the bandsaw that I made, I had to add supports to the table. Uh, the support helped the steel so it wouldn't get caught on the edge because I had to cut it on an angle in a little blade otherwise I'd be fighting with it and then for the end of the steel double saw horse brought it up high enough good enough to work with okay when I still have parts to buy I have to get the metal for these, I have nothing. I gotta get at least four 10 foot pieces and then four 10 foot pieces to finish off these. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention on the track guides, I made them two inches tall. I was playing with it and I noticed or I remembered why I wanted them two inches because when it goes around the tires or the sprockets the seven inch tire when it goes ar around it they don't hit each other they won't touch each other any longer than they'd be touching each other I'd have to clearance them but it's going to work out so just wanted to show that part <laughs> in case somebody is making the tracks and they I was wondering why they were to two inches tall, any higher, and they'd be hitting each other. Don't have to worry about them bending the other other way, going over terrain or anything. They're not going to contact each other. I can't imagine they would be. If they do, they'll probably just go to the side. <laughs> okay, just worth mentioning. Okay, I'm done. Well, for today, anyway. I cut all the metal that I had. Look at that mess. That's why you tuck in, or tuck your shoe under your pants. <laughs> Otherwise, that was that was falling onto my shoe. That could have got into my sock and made a nasty rash. <laughs> okay, let me show you what I got. Okay, 118 center plates, all 149 guides were made. I don't have to make any more or buy any more metal for it. All the center cleats are made. All the pitchfork cleats are made. I have all the hardware, 300 screws, nuts, and washers. I have the chain for both tracks. See the chain, the hardware I bought at Home Depot. The metal for the cleats. I got the metal free from work. And the metal for the center plates and the track plates. I got from the local metal supplier 
It was actually cheaper to go to the metal supplier than to buy the stuff at Home Depot. I would have paid double at Home Depot because they're smaller pieces and twice as much. So for the two inch square pieces that the tires roll on, I'm going to be making my own chop saw. I got the blades from Harbor Freight. I'm going to put it on the my circular saw and make it into a chop saw. I didn't want to buy a chop saw. Those things are cheap as hell. I'm, con I'm convinced I can make a better one. <laughs> oh, and a 10 pound spool of welding wire. Lincoln Electric. That Harbor Freight crap. I'm tired of dealing with it. This was actually cheaper than the Harbor Freight one anyway. Maybe about five bucks cheaper same wire same kind of wire so 10 pounds of wire and for the master links to connect the two tracks up to I'm going to use these S hooks I measured them these are actually from here to the other end this is the same length as a, a link I'm going to put this on and bend the ends and tack weld them into place. That's going to be my master links. So I got four of them and then an extra set. I'm going to keep on the tank. Maybe make a little glove box, keep them in there for emergencies for a patch kit in case something happens to the tracks. along with a half inch wrench and a, a hand file. <laughs> okay. Any questions on this part? Uh, leave a comment, rate the video, subscribe. Thanks to me. Bye.